Do you ever watch much of your old film at all anymore? I don't. Uh, a couple years ago, someone showed me a YouTube clip or something, and I saw a couple shots from you know a bunch of years ago, and uh, I didn't like what I saw, so I just haven't watched any more of it. Well, well, this is sort of a ten-year challenge. Uh, okay. Looking back from your first time with with the jazz and now, and just some some of the changes that you've made. What what jump, does anything jump out to you right away on on this first look? Um, <clears throat> My release point was a lot higher than my old one. That's the first yeah. thing I noticed, which is a good thing. Maybe I should have watched some of my old <laughs> clips. Can I see it again? You can tell you really have made a change from there. Yeah, right? this like is all tighter. Being back here. Yeah. There's a little, I guess, slides a little, a little back then. Trying to go get the ball more now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's probably the biggest Strong thing. That one that comes to you, not when you're trying to go get it. How much of, of these changes have been just things that you've, you've drilled down on? Or how much has been sort of necessity out of, you know, whether it's injury or just mm -hmm. kind of the game changing? Yeah, I think um, most of the changes are over the years, like just to, you know, like a normal, um, the average fan probably think they'd look pretty much the same but uh, for me it feels like quite a bit different shot um, I think every year you try to just make your shot a little bit more simple but you know what that's what you're doing or that that's that's what you're thinking about um, just try to be as, as compact and, and as strong as possible month to month I feel like there's something I'm focusing on a little bit more and that makes my shot change just a little bit it helps keep it fresh for me um, it keeps it exciting to keep working and keep shooting um, otherwise, you just shoot a bunch of shots in a row. It can get kind of boring uh, after a while. So you're always trying to tinker a little bit, and uh, I always like doing that. This one, like, I hop into it. I never do this anymore. Like the ball, it comes back. Yeah. See, like, which to me, like, takes your power going back away from you, which means you got to come all the way back forward. So I have ball, it almost goes like the back of my head almost. Yeah. Like now I try to keep it. Yeah, like that one on the left, it's, it doesn't ever get really past your nose. But do you have a checklist as, as you're going through? I mean, it's so, it happens so fast, I don't know if you have time to kind of go through a checklist. Yeah, so there's a, over the years, I've kind of tried to break down a lot of my shot, like all the different parts of it. Um, obviously, you can't think about all those things every time you shoot. But usually, you try to find like, usually like before the game or in practice, I'll try to think about one, find one or two things where, I feel like if I'm really locked in on this certain mechanic, I, I feel confident about making it during the game. So whether that's you know how I'm catching the ball or um, a higher release point, uh, landing in front of the line, um, getting my shoulder square, um, how I'm squeezing the ball, how I'm finding the ball, just if I try to find one little thing and then just kind of try to focus on that. And it helps. It helps give me give me confidence. So you miss a couple and you can go back to that thought I had before the game, where it's like, but if I do this, it felt really good earlier. And uh, I'm gonna focus on that on that one aspect, and um, just to give you a little boost mentally. One more time. So that one is something that me and Vince have talked about a lot lately. Is just trying to have really wide feet, just for a little bit better balance. And the first one there, I was shooting a, a two-point shot. Maybe the balance isn't quite as important. I'm really kind of trying to turn a lot faster. But on the three, on the on the one now. You know, having a wider base just helps give you a little bit better balance and a little bit better power, um, which is important, especially as you shoot the ball farther out. Um, I'd say the biggest thing I've noticed just differently is maybe, and Kyle's talked a lot about like the way he loads his, his shooting wrist, um, but I know like the one consistent is kind of Kyle's approach to the way he works daily on, on his shot and being a player and um, in the weight room and everything is always stay consistent. I think that's why so much of this is, is similar and there are differences in, in each shot, but so much of it is the same too. How much have the type of shots changed? You know, cause like when you're first yeah. in the league, like threes, like, oh, we don't yeah. want to shoot too many. And no, now it's like, how many can we create? And right, like, you definitely didn't get shots on the move. Like you didn't get right? a lot of those back like, then. They were all kick outs. Yeah. Especially like when I was here, like the ball had to go inside before it came right. out. Like if you shot the ball on the break and you missed it, like you were out of the game, right? And now it's like fire. Yeah, shoot him on the break, shoot him on the move. Which I think kind of plays to like a little bit of the change 
when you're shot, like for sure. quicker, shooting on the move, yeah. different passes, different angles, getting yeah. to that spot. Yeah. Mm. You know, obviously there's certain guys that are so fun to watch, you know, like Steph and Clay, Damian Lillard. Um, there's a long list of great shooters out there right now. Um, but I mean, I feel like you can take stuff from almost anybody. Um, you know, I might notice a random guy just, I just really like how he's locking his wrist as he's shooting. Or I feel like he's got a really strong hand on the ball, like he's catching it really strong. And then I'll just be like a little reminder, be like, hey, that's something that I gotta, you know, kind of think about today. Um, go back to that one again. Get that right knee. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, that's a broken knee. Did you see that? You don't like that? No, that, that's, that a, that's a that's a bad, in. bad, bad motion right there. So you kinda, I'm on this one that comes in a little bit, but if you see the one on the old one, oh see gosh. how far my right knee comes in as I'm shooting it. That's that's what causes a lot of knee problems. Like so a lot of people, like we all, as we get older, we get really like we all get bad knees, right? And a lot we assume it's from all the running and jumping and all that, and it's probably true. But the thing we do more than anything, no matter who you are, is you shoot. And if you shoot with mechanics where you got your knees bending in all the way, you're not using your hips properly, you just get all this tendonitis and like knee pain. And so something that, probably my biggest focus over the years is try, trying to get rid of that motion and try to sink back into my hips more instead of being forward and inside with my knees. Yeah, that, that's a great example of, like this one here, it's coming in a little bit on the right, you can see it. Like we can't help it if your if your feet are wider than your hips, like they're going to come in a little bit. But I want to not do the one on that side. How do you train yourself out out of that? A lot of it's just how what I do in the weight room. So I went to P3 for the first time when I was here with the Jazz, and uh, this is one of the things that that they showed me that was a problem with my mechanics and why I was having knee problems way back when. And so it's just a lot of it's how like the lifts you do in the weight room, the the, the, the corrective exercises you do trying to retrain your brain to want to sink back into your hips instead of trying to go forward with your knees. And so it's not something that you can just do. Um, it takes, honestly, it takes it took several years for me to really change that pattern. But it's also like Vince was saying, like, you know, you gotta try to be mindful every single time you shoot it. And over time, you know, you can kind of try to develop new patterns and new habits. Can I see them all one more time? Is that, can you just like run them through? 